Hello, viewers. Welcome back to Reladell.com. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the personality traits of girls who like to be alone. Not just girls, anyone at all. Before we get into the video, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. You will not regret it because we have lots of beautiful, amazing videos that would definitely catch your interest. Thank you. Now down to the video. Being a loner means the capability to decide upon yourself to be by using yourself as a substitute than with others. Depending on the context of the state of affairs that your character and preferences. This ought to be a great or terrible thing. Some humans view loners in a terrible context. However, some research shows that being a loner can lead to happiness for the man or woman and should truly be accurate for your health. Introverts can additionally every so often be regarded as loners. These are humans who revel in time alone, no longer always due to the fact they don't like being around different people. However, as a substitute due to the fact that they are greater fascinated in their personal internal ideas and feelings. Spending satisfactory time by means of themselves is how they are able to regain their energy. There is a brilliant distinction between being by yourself and being lonely. A loner will usually select being alone, however, they will in no way feel lonely. Loners are a special kind of people. They pick having a smaller circle of friends, and they do nothing other than thinking of spending time alone, being with themselves. Unlike those who experience loneliness, loners by no means feel lonely. In fact, being in their personal organization is what makes them experience most fulfillment, as this is when they are most in contact with themselves. Loners are very self-aware, and possibly this is the fundamental purpose they opt to be alone. You have probably asked yourself this question, am I a loner? And feeling bizarre due to the fact you do no longer apprehend the nature of loners. Loners are no longer awful human beings. They have very correct personal traits, in fact. And possibly you have been thinking why you experience being by yourself most of the time and whether or not there is something wrong with you. No, you're no longer crazy. Nothing is wrong with you. And below is a list of motives that will assist you to apprehend why you experience your personal feelings the most. Do you like to be alone? Do you feel extra alive when you're at home doing something you experience than when you're with others? Don't worry, you're no longer the only one. In fact, most people are simply like you. But have you ever pondered why you have experienced being by yourself all the time as much as you do? Maybe you have been questioning this about yourself for a while. So to show that you're no longer bizarre for spending so much time by yourself, here's a research on why this is maybe the case. Here are 10 personal qualities that behaviors of humans who like to be alone. 1. Being an introvert. Are you surprised? I'm certain you've heard of the phrase introvert before, or you already recognize what it means. Basically, an introvert feels like power is being drained from them when they spend time with others, whereas an extrovert feels the opposite. The extroverts feel like they receive much energy when they're with others. In fact, research have recommended that introverts have a tendency to be surprisingly jumpy and uncomfortable during social exposure. You additionally have a tendency to see your own time as peaceful and even energizing. So if you see yourself turning into that, being without difficulty drained of power when you're around others, then would possibly be the case that you're an introvert and this is the purpose you love spending time alone. 2. You have a lesser spark than others. We've all met them before, the kind of man or woman that appears to have an infinite provision of energy. They're exciting to dangle out with for 30 minutes, however, after that, they can get severely annoying. Now, I'm no longer speaking simply introvert versus extrovert here. I'm speaking about primary strength supply. For you, your favorite area is on your sofa or chair, whereas others get energized from being active outside. 
No, this doesn't suggest you're no longer in shape or you don't work out at all. You can nevertheless exercise. You simply love taking time out and sitting on the couch. It's the place you sense at peace. It's the place you energize yourself and it's the place you contemplate on your deepest ideas and thoughts. Or you watch TV. Whereas some human beings experience extra strength after being active around others. There is nothing wrong with that and that's why you love spending time alone. 3. When you're alone, you get to do whatever you wish. When you're with different people, you don't continually get to do what you desire to. There is continually an aspect of compromise. You can't constantly choose your preferred film or go to your favorite restaurant when there are different human beings involved. And sure, each and every now and then it's high quality to strive a new restaurant that your body recommends. But when it comes down to it, you'd as an alternative simply do what favors them. This is why you love being alone. You don't have to compromise. You can work on your other initiatives or watch your preferred TV shows. Everything is easy. 4. You choose a quiet time. You are at peace with your soul when you're sitting in silence, but as quickly as human beings are around, the peace you love is gone. And it's no longer even the different man or woman making noise that accepts you. It's their presence that makes you uncomfortable. It means you can't entirely losing up and revel in the moment. It's solely when you're on your own that you can totally let go and be yourself. 5. You can't endure little chit chats. We've all been there. How are you? How is it going today? Ugh, such a waste of time. For you, small talk is meaningless and superficial. You don't get to comprehend anyone for who they truly are. Instead, the questions and answers are full of things that doesn't want to be said. It's simply a way to feel the silence. However, for you, you'd as an alternative bask in the glory of silence. This is why you come throughout as a cold person to others. If you're going to speak to someone, you'd instead get to comprehend them at a deep level. What makes them tick? What is their existence plan? You desire to be aware of the reason in the back of someone's move and what they locate glad in life. That is what sincerely makes your juices flowing. But small talk is so frequent these days that you'd select spending time alone. 6. You love to do your work alone. You are lots extra productive when you're on your own in your workplace than when others are close to you. This is due to the fact that it's difficult for you to get focused when different human beings are around you. People talking random questions whilst you're working, the sounds of human beings chewing their meals around you, it irks you to your core and it can simply, sincerely upset your workflow. Perhaps this has something to do with the truth that you are no longer as at ease around others as extroverts are. You choose to be by yourself concentrating on what you want to get done. 7. You hate gossiping or engaging in drama. Gossiping, talking about people behind their backs, one-upping people to make yourself look better, that's just not your style. In your mind, people spend way too much time on these toxic behaviors. It's just wasted energy. For you, it doesn't even make you feel good. You'd prefer to focus on yourself while keeping the peace with everyone else. Now, of course, you'd stand up for yourself and others if you need to. But this is different. In the end, gossiping about who did what, who insulted who, and why who or who is a bad person only serves to make others feel bad and that is the last thing you want to do. 8. You are independent emotionally. You don't have a strong desire to be around people all the time. You also don't rely on people to give you validation and make you feel better. You are your own source of happiness. You also consider yourself a balanced person. Your highs aren't as high as other people and your lows aren't as low. You rely on yourself to deal with your own emotional problems. You don't search for outside help. This makes you feel un all comfortable and secure when you're spending time alone because you're not relying on anything or anyone for your own happiness. So comfortable. 9. You find it hard to deal with people's emotional issues. Even though you're emotionally independent, you actually find helping others with their emotional struggles quite challenging. This is most likely because you have strong empathy and you can feel the pain another person is feeling. When you are asked to help someone, it can feel like the weight of that burden falls heavily on your own shoulders as you absorb their emotions. This is why you like spending time alone as it is the simplest way to keep your emotions balanced. 
10. You're quite contented with your life. You're perfectly happy with how your life's going and where you're at. You don't need to constantly see people and arrange nights out to feel better about yourself. You accept yourself for who you are and you're happy to spend time alone doing what you want to do. There is no fear of missing out on anything when you miss social occasions because you know that you would have a better time home alone anyway. This makes it very easy for you to say no when anyone asks you out. There you have it guys. And in addition to that, there are other reasons why you may be like that. For instance, you may simply don't like many people. You have a few shot bodies and household that you love spending time with, but in your eyes, the majority of humans simply aren't really worth getting to know. They're usually now not involved in the identical matters that you are, and they don't like to suppose in the complicated manner that you do. You've additionally had friendships in previous times that you can't seem to get over their flaws or their self-absorbed attitude. Now you've realized by way of trip that bothering them to exist in your life simply isn't really worth it. Or it's possible that you don't feel relaxed when you're around others. Put it down to social anxiousness or the stress to conform to social norms. You simply don't experience at easiness when you're around others. In contrast, you experience total satisfaction when you're by yourself. The fundamental reason? It's just because there is no strain on you to act a sure way when you're alone. And matters have come to be even more unusual with social distance rule these days that you simply can't be bothered with anyone. If you continue to be at home by yourself, you don't have to fear that you're now not doing the proper component or what different human beings expect of you. When you do spend time with others, you have a tendency to write small bouts of anxiousness and nervousness. And whilst that's something that can get by every now and then, it's no longer what you usually choose to go through. It could also be that you don't revel in getting too close to people. It's a massive, massive ask for you to get emotionally close to others. You've been harmed in the previous times when you've acquired closeness to others and that is why you don't take clo getting close to any individual else lightly. When you experience getting to understand others for who they are and what makes them tick, you are now not as inclined to divulge non-public important points about yourself. It doesn't imply that you in no way get close to others, it simply takes you greater time to have faith in anyone or to get close. So there you have it guys. The fact that you don't like getting close or you like being alone doesn't make you a loser. It doesn't make you a bad person. It is not wrong. It's just how you like it being done. It's how you like being and no one can make you or should make you feel bad for it. It is who you are so you stick to it that way. So guys, I hope you feel better about yourself. If you decide that being alone is what you really want, being alone makes you work faster, makes you, makes you work more productively, then that is what you should be. Everyone has their own ways of life, so you shouldn't change yours to suit others. Do you like the video? Please, Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel because you have more amazing videos like this coming forward. So you can be the first to get notified once we upload videos like this. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.